Okay, on the website. This is a Mad Lab website. All right, and down here, you can see on the bottom, construction sheet. Go into that, print it out. You have the schematic. Go into that, save, save it, print it out. The source codes you want to print out. Okay, you get over towards the, where the source codes are, and you want to copy the source codes. Or you just copy and paste. All right, and the thing, you know, you want to put it into a, a text file, your own text file. Now, here. Uh, Okay, so here's here's the text file, you copied and pasted it in. What I'm going to change, and up here you can see that there is no F chip. There's no 12F508 chip. And if you want to use that 12F508 chip, you have to add it. Okay, so you're going to put in list. P equals 12 F 508 okay and the next thing you need to do is you can see that there's this if define and include and then an if statement here uh, I'll just make it a little bit easier I'm gonna separate this here a little bit so what you want to do is you want to copy this and what I did was I added it down here okay I just added another line down here and Okay, and all I'm doing is I'm I'm changing the C to an F, and I'm taking this A out. Okay, taking the A out, changing the C to an F, and that's basically it. That's all you need to do on that section. Now, to get it, and this this will allow you to load it into the 12 chip, okay? Now, you can go all the way down to the bottom, okay? And you'll see this statement right here, okay? What you want to do is put a semicolon in front of that one, go down to the next, and put a semicolon in front of that one. This is the power down code that I was talking to you about. This it puts it into sleep mode after about five or seven minutes. Okay, because this is a timer. All right, and you just want to run that out so that it doesn't see the program won't see it now. So you save it, and once you save it, um, then you'll be able to put it into uh, the pick loader and load it onto the chip. Okay, so that's that. Um. Just make sure you download that source code because I don't know how long these these people are going to leave it up. Um, if you want to read about the musical device, it has a link to it um, right in right in here. There's an article, um, and it'll tell you about the, the this device. So. 
And that's basically what you do. You know, uh, you, you just get that stuff. Then you're going to have to go in and you're going to have to learn how to program a pick chip. Okay? Um, and there's videos out there that can show you how to use the pick 3 and what you need to download um, to do that. Mine, the way I, the way I built mine was I have my schematic here and this is like I said this is G schematic up here it this is a Linux free software program that you can do schematics in uh, you can download this free and install it on any Linux machine and this is the same schematic that the other one is. I, I took it direct. I made it. I had to make up my own chip thing because they didn't have a PIC 12F508 chip. So I made my own. Um, and I also made my own 555 five, five, five timer chip because I didn't like where the pins were on the other one that came with this. But it's got your basically your. 5 volt regulator thing that you can put into it okay um, the other thing that I did was once I have this schematic down then I go over to the PCB program side of GEDA and I created my PCB uh, board and once I get done laying out everything here where I want it I go into file and I export the layout as PS okay and the reason why I do that with a postscript okay I export it as postscript and once you edit you, you do it as postscript let's see That's the wrong one. Um, once you edit as postscript, you get this postscript file up here. And then you can open that file. Okay. And it will show you the layers and you can print out this postscript with individual pages. So that's basically what I did. I, I printed out the top layout for my board and uh, and not the bottom that's the bottom that it comes up with but this is the top layout this is all the lines and then I have to add in three wires because it couldn't do it on a single sided board totally straight um, I don't know how the other people got it um, I think it's a double-sided board. I'm not sure. But I did it as a single-sided board, and I added, I got it down so where I only needed to add three wires to this. Okay? And that you will see. Uh, right here. These are the three wires. Okay? And that's that's all I had to to add to my circuit board. Um, and you can move these trace lines. You can maneuver them in so that they're in a circle. Um, I actually cut to the outside of the circle. I just made it so that I knew how big I wanted it. But uh, when I print it, I don't print the circle. So... I go later on and I use the PVC pipe, uh, the union adapter, and I draw my own circle with that. So I center the board in that. And that's basically what I did. You know, I etch my boards. I use a laser printer, uh, and I use tracing paper, and I tape the tracing paper to a regular sheet of paper and then I send it through the laser printer and that gives me my mask and once I have my mask then I take an iron and I heat it onto 
the copper clad board and once I have that I you know I can get the tracing paper off easy enough with warm water uh, and most of the trace stays you know you could use whatever method you want I, I just found that that was easier than trying to use photo paper and all this other magazine stuff and and everything else um, tracing paper you can get it in a whole pad and you got several sheets so uh, I did it that way I use um, muriatic acid toilet bowl cleaner stuff from the hardware store and hydrogen peroxide and I etch my boards so and that's how I do it so that's basically how I, I do my setup so I'll go back and I'll see about putting the board together okay Okay, I'm going to try and hold this as steady as I can. Uh, down here you can see this is the one lab program. This is the MP Lab uh, IDE program that you want to get. And this allows you to modify. You take that text file that you downloaded that says the source codes and you stick it in here. Okay, and then you go and you have it changed so you could see that I added this line and then I added the other line down at the bottom underneath um, I went and if I scroll all the way down you can see where it has the sleep mode and everything and I ran them out I put the little semicolons in front of them so you use that to create the hex file and all and then you use pick kit 3 uh, to load the file on to the chip and that's where you get the pick kit and you plug it into your USB port and so those are the two programs that you need to have in order to put that source code onto that chip okay uh, just to let you know, uh, they're they're both free programs. You can download both free, both of them free um, from Pick. So, okay.